Hi guys, I'm back. Welcome to the What's in the Bag video. Sorry it's taking so long. Um, it's been a crazy weekend, crazy week. Um, new clubs are in the bag. I've hit them at night after work on the reins. They're absolutely the purest things I've hit in a long time. We'll, we'll talk a lot about the clubs, a little bit about the bag and what's in it. I know that's the focus of the videos. Scotty, what's in the bag? All right, so this is a quick what's in the bag. I'm going to come back and do an overview review of the Vessel 4, Vessel Player 4 bag. That's kind of my everyday carry. Love the bag to death. Super quality. Uh, I paid for the bag myself. They don't pay me a dime to use it, show it, do a video on it. The clubs, though. What's actually in the Vessel? Yeah, I start with the clubs right off the rip. You see my little raccoon. That's my little buddy. That's the driver, that's the big dog, right? The most important club, other than the putter, in the bag, in my opinion, is the driver. Um, you will hit your driver on average of probably 14 times around, and you will use your putter probably 30 times around. That is 44 shots for those of you that can math. If you, I mean, that's driver, putter, anything 100 yards in, work on that. Anyways. The driver. Let's talk about the shaft first. Mitsubishi Chemical, Kaylee White, 60 gram stiff flex. The Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. This thing is absolutely money. I do change it. And we'll talk about that real quick. I live on the ocean. We get a lot of wind. If it's super windy, as you can see this, if it's super windy, if it'll focus, focus. You're not no focus. If it's super windy, I leave it at nine degrees, standard. If it's not windy, I will bump it up plus one to 10 degrees. A little more carry, works like a charm. Again, love this driver. It's the best driver I've ever had um, by far. Next up is a three wood. Oh yeah, if you know me, you know I love Swag Golf. Shout out Swag. Uh, I love your head covers. Please send me some. I'm tired of spending all my money on them. Uh, three wood. All right, let's hit the shaft. Again, you'll see a, you'll see a pattern here. Mitsubishi Chemical, Kaylee White. This is the 70 gram stiff, okay? Callaway Paradigm, Triple Diamond. It's a 15 degree standard loft. I got it plus one playing 16 degrees. This thing's absolutely beast. Again, if you, if you can hit the Triple Diamond profile if you can play this, I highly suggest you give it a try. They're insane. The driver was so good, I bought the three wood. The three wood was so good that I bought this bad boy. Never had one in my life until now. Shout out, swap golf again. Let's talk about the shaft first. Again, Mitsubishi Chemical, Kaylee White, 70 gram stiff. It's the same shaft as a three wood, a touch shorter, again, Paradigm, triple diamond, five wood, 18 degree loft, got it bumped up one to 19. So I go driver at nine or 10, depending upon the wind. Three wood is at 16 degrees, and the five wood is at 19 degrees. That gives me the proper gapping from driver, three wood, five wood. People get so caught up on the loft. Uh, what, no, this iron, I'm hitting a seven iron, 200 yards, well, is it a, is it 28 degree or is it like a 34 degree? Um, focus on the gapping if you can, the gapping, the yardage, the carry numbers and all that stuff for your clubs. Don't worry about the loss. Worry about the gapping. Um, standard towel, golf towel, I know it looks disgusting. I do wash these, my, my wife washes these. She won't let me wash nothing. These are 44 by 20, 22, perfect golf towels. You buy them on Amazon, packs of them. If you're serious about getting better, you need some alignment sticks. Always keep them in your bag. When you're hitting balls in the range, have one on the ground. You're not getting better at golf because you do not know how to aim. I promise you. Focus on your setup and your aiming and ensure you're aimed correctly for the shot you're trying to hit. You will get better. All right. Last but not least, from a head cover standpoint, again, shout out Swag Golf. Uh, my wife got this for me this Christmas last year. This is a Scotty Cameron Phantom 5.5. 
At least come standard with 15 gram weights. I put 45s in, I like a heavier putter head that just lets me come through the ball better. Um, this was a 34 inch shaft. I added two inch extension to it and then put a super stroke toward 2.0 XL grip on it. This thing is money. I promise you, I, I just roll the ball so well with this putter. We're gonna to jump to the wedges. I carry four wedges. We'll talk about these. Well, four wedges, one being a set wedge, and then I carry a 50 degree gap wedge, a 54 degree sand wedge, and a 58 degree lob wedge. Shout out my boy Johnny Mack. Uh, Terror made mill grind threes. These things are absolutely insane. Best wedge play of my life with these by far. Um, all three wedges, dynamic gold, S200 shafts. Um, the, the grips I use are Golf Pride CPX midsize. They're, they're rubber grips, very tacky, sticky. Not for everybody, but I love them. All right. Let's get to these irons. Number one, shout out Sub70 Golf. Their CEO's name is Jason Hyland. Dude's a beast. He was texting with me. Like, it, it's so rare to, it is so rare to have that type of service. The guy literally puts his number out and will tell you to call him publicly. Direct to consumer brand. Okay. What does that mean? Does that mean they're terrible? No. And we'll talk about, I got some more irons over and we'll talk about it. They're absolutely beast. There'd be some, we'll talk through them. But before I do, there's one more change I usually make, depending upon the wind. If it's super windy, I will leave this full iron in. This is a full iron, sub 70. This is mill, a solid chunk of metal, mill grind, cavity back. Ping 425, 22 degree hybrid. If it's super windy, I leave in the iron. If it's not windy, I'll put the hybrid in. The hybrid goes really, really high. I can land it soft, stop on a dime. The four iron doesn't go as high because I'm not as strong as I once was. It's still a beast. The yardages are about the same. The only difference is the trajectory. One's a little higher, one's a little lower. Super windy, I want low. No wind, I want high. All right. So, I know my specs, I know my shaft I need, I know all my specs when I've been fit numerous times. And I wanna talk about how I ride these irons. Um, a lot of you guys have played what they call a game improvement iron. This is a PNG 410, really thick sole. Not that big of a deal. You'll never find a pro player really playing this. My favorite irons to date before the sub 70s, Pinyi 210. Amazing iron, still wide sole. Victor Hovland, if you've heard of him, he uses these and he wins a lot. Um, if you heard of Bryson DeChambeau, he plays the new, the new version of these, uh, Ping uh, I-230s. Great irons. These had Project X shafts, play a half inch long. I thought they were the bee's knees until I found these sub-70 randomly looking. Um, so I had a set four through pitching wedge, combo set. The full iron, four, five, six, and seven are cavity back. The eight, nine, and pitch are what they call tour cavity. A little bit smaller head, right? A little bit smaller head. The soles are not that big. So they have about eight, eight or nine different sets of irons. Muscle backs, pure blades. The tour cavity is one above the muscle back. And then the cavity backs are above that. Um, I, I would probably compare these to, Callaway has some new irons out. I think the 2024 version, um, you know, the Callaway Apex Pros, they have the cavity backs, and then they have the MB's muscle backs. I went to get fitted for those irons. Um, I hit them well. 
I just, something felt off. And to my opinion, this is the same thing as a Callaway uh, Apex cavity back in their muscle back. It's just you have that tour cavity. It is a little thicker line because they move some of the weight up. But these things are butter, dude. Pure butter. And I absolutely love them. Um, don't worry, there will be a review coming soon on the irons. I want to get a couple rounds under my belt. I just want to do a comparison real quick. And that's some of my favorite irons. I think these are some of my favorite irons of all time. Yes, I don't get rid of irons really, to be honest. I have, I have a bunch more than this, but these are like my babies. Let's talk about these for a minute. What you see here is the Ping uh, G410s, the Ping I210s, the Ping I2 Copper Beryllium, Oh, baby, these things are just bomb. In my opinion, one of the Callaway's best irons is the Apex uh, CF-16s, cut face technology. These were really good, smaller head. The, um, but I wanna talk about these three sets real quick. Because I think it's an important comparison. All five irons. You see that, all five. These are, the TaylorMade P790 2021s. These are good irons. They're hollow body, right? Same with the Apex. These cavity back sub 70s are the bottom. All right, enough iron talk. We'll come back for a video on that. Well, so what's in the bag? Yeah. Like most people, got a range finder. Shout out Bushnell Pro XE, things a beast. I have my favorite ball marker in the world. One of my favorite courses in the world. Uh, Ranchero San Lucas Golf Club, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. It's an amazing course. In, the, in, the, in this side, I got a, a little man purse, I like to call it. It's a catch-all bag. Loft adjuster, some more ball markers iPhone cable, another, um, what is that? USB-C, some ball markers, Sharpies, some Aleve, <laughs> getting old sucks. And then, just for reference, USDA rules of golf. When I'm walking, carry my card, back pocket. Let's get the ball pocket, what do we have here? Uh, I, I play a couple different balls, this depends. The uh, Titleist Pro V1X. I don't really like the Pro V1. Um, if I'm not playing the Pro V1X, it's a Chrome Soft X or the Chrome Soft. Sharpie. Uh, these things are the bomb. Wipe yourself off, freshen up. It gets hot in Florida. You need these. You never know what you might need them for. Uh, gloves, mainly foot joy Callaway gloves. I got a fleece. It gets colder here soon. And a little rain windbreaker. I don't carry rain gear all the time. Don't carry umbrella all the time. I try to pack based on the weather. Um, this bag is six pounds. The iron shafts are 130 grams a piece. This thing can get pretty heavy. Um, when I'm walking, carrying my bag, I do not use this bag. I use a light three pound bag. This bag I think is six pounds. It doesn't sell that much, but it's six pounds raw weight. If I'm walking, I carry a three pound bag. It's a, a Titleist Player 4 Carbon. Great bag. It's equivalent to the Ping um, Hoover Crazy Light. Callaway has, a, I think, a Hyper Light three pounder. And that's kind of all you can really carry that will carry all 14 clubs. Um, if you want to, you know, go a little lighter, you can, you know, you don't need 14 clubs. I normally don't really use about nine, eight to 10 clubs. Um, but yeah, you get lighter bags, different kinds of bags. But this is my everyday bag. It's my, one of my favorite bags. It's a great bag. And that's what's in the bag. If you guys like this, leave a comment, smash the like button. Subscribe. Peace.